solar flares this, this is very common it happens all the time it just so happens that the sun is in its it's getting to the peak of its activity it's its 11 year cycle every 11 years the activity of the sun goes from uh, from high to low and in 2025 it is going to peak so uh, the so the, the chances of more solar flares coming out in this time is more but it's not uh, it's not sound very uncommon thing now the, the the reason why this is coming to uh, in, into the news is that this this flare which which, which came out of the very active solar spot region on the sun uh, i think 3664 i don't know i have to check that number so from that that is a very uh, very active region of the sun surface and this solar flare that came out it is ejected from the sun surface matlab it is coming out from the sun case from the surface of the sun it is thrown out highly charged particles of, of plasma and this charged particles can travel at very high velocities anything it can take from few hours to few days to reach earth it can be that fast also so uh, the, the faster these particles move the more dangerous they are because faster means just more energy now what happened when it comes to the earth earth has a magnetic field earth has a, an atmosphere right so since the, the, since these are charged particles coming from the sun they can be deflected by the magnetic field and because they are deflected by the magnetic field most of these charged particles go around the earth but some of them can come to the polar regions of the earth and they and that they interact with the with the with the gas molecules on the upper atmosphere and they produce plasma and that is why you see a color it's called aurora aurora borealis in the northern hemisphere and aurora australis in the southern hemisphere now the thing is that solar flares are never very strong and these these uh, aurora that is caused by the flares can be seen on, on, only in the in the polar and arctic regions matlab northern europe and in the bottom in the antarctic area but when there is a very strong um, solar flare like the one which happened yesterday it's supposed to be a class 4 means it's very high now this is and unfortunately earth also is in the path of the of the solar uh, charge particles coming from the sun now this combined with our magnetic field and our atmosphere produces the aurora and uh, people are very fortunate to even see this right up to northern italy which is which is very down in the the latitude usually you see it only above norway and iceland and all those areas but now we could see it all the way to to italy and uh, i also read in the news that we could see aurora in uh, in ladakh in hanle there's there's a telescope there so the people there have reported that you could see uh, aurora oh, in in hanle also now talking about how does it affect us for a common person it does not affect because flares come and go uh, auroras come and go uh, it never affects us any health wise or environment wise directly but what it can affect is our 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 day to day life that is communication we have so many satellites that communicate that take our signals up and down that can be disrupted your 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 tv satellite tv signals can be disrupted your radio communication can be disrupted so these things are the only side effects of of um, you know solar flare strong uh, uh, emission of x rays and ultraviolet radiation uh, from the sun the, uh, this is x ray flare that nasa has spoken about and uh, x ray flares are associated with uh, large sun spots on the surface of the sun so right now the sun is uh, passing through a, uh, its a strong phase of uh, its activity as we know that uh, sun's activity is, has a 11 year cycle so right now the sun is passing through the peak of its activity that's why we are seeing uh, repeatedly many sunspots on the surface of the sun so sunspots have very strong magnetic fields and because of that there is a sudden release sometimes of uh, energy that energy is in the form of x rays and ultraviolet radiation so that reaches the earth and it causes disturbance in our uh, ionosphere because of that uh, radio blackouts may take place at short uh, wave uh, lengths say uh, one uh, blackout has been noticed uh, lasting about an hours time at uh, 30 megahertz uh, frequencies so uh, but 
uh, this is uh, a normal thing every uh, peak time of the solar activity and sun is passing through this uh, since uh, billions of years so uh, there is nothing to fear about or worry about but one thing is that uh, now because it's our technological life so anything that happens on the sun and that is very strong then it affects the atmosphere ionosphere of the earth and it affects our technological life for example there are satellites in uh, in orbit around the earth they are at the heights of say 400 to 700 or 800 kilometers so uh, they are uh, actually in a very thin ionosphere so as uh, radiation from the sun comes it affects the ionosphere and because of that uh, the there is slight heating up of the atmosphere and there is a increased drag on the satellite but right now uh, its uh, positioning is such that it is uh, somewhat looking away from the earth so if there is any coronal mass ejection uh, it's it's something like uh, it's going to be something like a grazing incidence only so we shouldn't worry at all but if there is a direct uh, uh, solar uh, coronal mass ejection towards the earth then obviously we have to a little bit worry because uh, for example the uh, there can be a power outage so the power grid companies uh, will uh, uh, take uh, due care uh, in that uh, matter